firmly focused on the British and Commonwealth champion Lloyd Hunnigan's bid to unseat the undisputed welterweight champion of the world, Don Curry, an aristocrat of the ring who has decorated its canvas with sheer artistry. Of course, Hunnigan has impressive credentials too, skill, power and an unbeaten record. And watching the fight with me in our Belfast studio is Barry McGuigan. And Barry knows how difficult it is to win a world title fight against an American in America. Well, Don Curry comes to this defense undefeated, having left a trail of destruction in his wake, and he knows all about celebrations. One of his most impressive performances came last December at Las Vegas, a crushing victory in two rounds over the WBC champion Milton McCrory to secure the undisputed crown. Referee doesn't score if we do have to go to 12 rounds, but we worry about... Oh! Hook. He can't get up from that one, surely. He hit the deck, his head hit the back as well. Midway through the second, the legs are unbuckled completely. He's going to get the mandatory eight, but I'm not sure Mills Lane... Yes, he will let it go on, but he, that was all over. He just walked in and helped himself to a great right-hand punch. Despite that terrifying power, Hunnigan's manager remained confident about his chances. He's certainly one of the most dedicated boxers I've been involved with. I don't know of anybody who trains harder for a fight than he does. Um, for six weeks before a fight, he turns himself into a hermit. He goes to the gym and he goes on the road to run and he eats. And the rest of the time he spends in a room isolated with a television set and he'll watch TV and go to sleep. And I think it should be a good fight. I don't think it's going to be one-sided. I come here to win. I don't come here to mess around. Lloyd Hannigan has got the toughest fight he's ever had in his whole career. And equally, Donald Curry has the toughest fight he's had in his whole career. This is, in my mind, undoubtedly the toughest opponent that Donald Curry has fought to date. So much then for the pre-match build-up and hype. Let us go ring some... And welcome back. Well, I'm sure, like me, you're still breathless after that wonderful performance by Lloyd Hunnigan, now one of only two undisputed champions in the world. The other one is Marvin Hagler. That is a heady thought, isn't it? After escaping the frenzy of excitement in the ring at Atlantic City, the new world champion talked to Reg Guttridge, and he was in no doubt how Curry's cut eye had occurred. It was a, um, a punch because, you see, inside, I was throwing these little switch to the surfboard because I knew I could do it, and Bobby says, Lloyd, we are wasting your talent, man, like I've been saying. Switch the south for when you're inside and throw the little uppercut. And I throw the little uppercut, and I think it's when I came back with the left foot, or Mickey been telling me to come back with all week, all those weeks yeah. up the gym in the cat skills, and I wasn't throwing it because I felt so good um, today, all week we've been feeling so good. I sit down in my bedroom with Bobby, we'll go for a walk, and I said to him, this is like I'm walking in Brixton, this is like I'm, I'm walking on Warworth Road, this is like I'm sitting in my front room. It didn't come like I was going to have a fight. I was it's telling it, everyone. I mean, right? considering he had been beaten for, what, eight, nine years? Yeah, it's, since he was you, 16 years old. When did you feel when you got in the ring that you could do it? At what point? When you nailed him with that first right hand? In the first round, man, because Donald Curry showed me respect right. in the first round. He showed me respect. And, after the first round. and the first round, that was it. After the first round, I knew I had to fight one because he didn't... He, I thought Donald was going to come and start throwing bombs that he usually do. But once he... He knew that I knew that he was going to do, so he didn't. And once he'd done that, I knew I had to fight one. Well, I'll tell you, it's it's such a marvellous upset. There's going to be a lot of excitable people in Britain when yeah, they see this now. Yeah, say that again. And, uh, well, I hope if you've won it in America, I dare say you're going to defend it in America, but you might finish up doing no, it in Britain, no, eh? No, no. We, we may, well, we'll there's no place see. like home at the end of the day. He's proved he you can see, win abroad. We may yeah. well do it in, in London. In London. I, plan, I plan to come to America to win the world title, but I've done that now, so... My, my fans in London will believe me. Now I can give them a chance to see Lloyd Hunter going to defend his world championship. Great. Well, congratulations to everybody concerned, the manager, Thank the you. trainer, Bobby Neal. Thank you, Bobby. Best of all you. Thank, Thank you. you. Well, listening to that and having watched the fight in Belfast is Barry McGuigan. Barry, let me get your reaction first of all about the fight itself. Well, first of all, uh, I'd like to say that that was a marvellous achievement. Uh, he went there, he went into the Lions Den and he, he won the title. He, be, he I mean, undisputed champion, fantastic stuff. He, uh, 
He took the fight to the champion from the very start. He took the play away from him. He'd done exactly the right thing. <laughs> he's a guy that oozes with confidence. Ever since he was a six-round fighter, he's always oozed confidence. And, you know, he, fair play to him. It was a fantastic performance. One of the best performances I've ever seen. Were um, you surprised how easy it was to hit Curry? Well, um, Curry looked a wee bit, uh, a wee bit drawn when he went into the fight, but I'm, I'm, that's not taken away from, from Lloyd's performance. I, in fact, I was probably one of the people who predicted that he, he had a great chance of winning. And, uh, Curry had everything to lose because of the fact that he was undisputed champion. Uh, nobody rated uh, Huntingham as, as a challenger at all. And he went in there and he done what was, was, was necessary to win the title and it was absolutely brilliant. There are conflicts of opinion how the cut was caused, mm -hmm. uh, Barry. Um, mm -hmm. As you heard, Don Curry said it was an accidental butt, yeah. uh, yeah. but of course, <laughs> Hunnigan said it was a punch. You can have a look at it now. Yeah, see well, what it, you it, think. there looked to be an, an accidental uh, butt there, but it was far down on his face, and so it's very difficult to tell from this angle. And having watched it three or four times, I'm not quite sure whether it was a, a butt or a punch, but it, it, it was irrelevant anyway. The, the fact was that uh, Curry was never in the fight. It was Huntingham's fight from the very beginning, and he's a champion now, and that's what counts. And he beat the guy hands down. Marvellous performance, fantastic stuff. Gary has said that he's a good champion too, and uh, he'll hold the, uh, the title for a long time. Would you agree with that? I have no doubt about that. He's a great champion. He's very dedicated. He trains very hard, and he, I think he'll be champion for a long time. Will it inspire you now to go back and win a world title, Barry? It certainly gives me the old itch again. Uh, I'd, I'd like to get back in there maybe in the new year. I'm not going to make a decision until the new year, but I, I'd love to go back at it again. Any decision, let me ask you this, any decision, would that be um, uh, taking into consideration the fact that perhaps there's not the unity in your camp that there has been? I, one hears that Barney's <laughs> not happy with things, and I've just heard that Eddie Shaw has gone out this morning. What's the situation uh, there? Well, uh, I'd rather not comment on that. There's been enough uh, controversy so far. Uh, but I, I, I make my decision in the new year some way. But would you say that he's uh, Lloyd Hunnigan? Getting back to him, his fight should next fight should be in this country. Well, it's up to him himself. Uh, they, they've said there in the interview afterwards that they would either defend in America or defend at home. It makes no difference. This guy is very good. He's very talented. He's very underrated, and I think he can be a champion for a long time. And uh, I think you know, whether he boxes in Britain or boxes in America, it makes no difference. This was going to be a star. Well, we all feel very proud of him. Thank you very much indeed for joining us, Barry. It's been a pleasure to have your company. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much.